we have some couple names and it's all about getting a good start and you literally we're, we're gonna see some carnage guys venom to carnage we're gonna see it man look who's all on that gate they're looking right and left they're looking like who we're gonna take each other out what's gonna happen are are we all gonna dive to the to the front to the middle like what is going on and it looks like it's gonna be drape gates drop go 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 lcq of san francisco round two has started looks like a ktm gets off right oh gets squeezed off by the kawasaki a lot of carnage round one table jump off looks like a husky's in front but he wasn't able to secure we do have another yamaha out front last time a yamaha was out front was lee's signature kind of took it away never looked back we do have that kawasaki out there we do got a, a led by another yamaha couple ktms the husqvarna's in the fight couple cases as everybody's trying to make it to the long rhythm section ladies and gentlemen a lot of carnage is going on everybody is battling right now honestly i i can't tell you that this is gonna be a force to be reckoned with as the leader goes down kawasaki goes down we are waiting to see for sure good great timing gates as they make it through the sand we have some great and i mean great runners out front some are taking that inside some are taking the outside ktms husqvarna's yamahas are all in play here ladies and gentlemen as the kawasaki starts to move up only one out there Ladies and gentlemen, another one goes down. So as your force crosses over the finish, we have three KTMs and a Husqvarna. Let's go down into there. It looks like Joe J is actually in the lead. Guy that we were talking about, Puma, was a potential guy last time. Wasn't able to make it into a clinch. We do have Kurt. Kurt go does go down. We do have Joris back there. Joris is going to be able to hit the table on with a single off. Looks like Kurt is down, but he's trying to pick up some speed. Let's see who's in a transfer position. Ricky actually was in the transfer position. Goes down. Looks like he's not in that transfer position anymore, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to wait for some timing gates to secure. Looks like Kurt is still looking for that fourth position. It goes Joe J, Puma, Joris, and Kurt. Three KTMs out front, led by a Husqvarna. Myth actually coming into the pack, looking like he's going to get over the Supercross triple. Going to have to close that man off. Actually, he plays it safe, willing to let that man have some speed. KTM goes down in the whoops. I know these K these whips. I mean, these, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, these whoops are detrimental. I tried to tell you guys the far right side is going to be your friend here. Myth moves into a transfer position. Why Joe J is out there, forced to be reckoned with two seconds on Puma. We have Cole in that transfer spot, looking like he's going to go for the double, double, jumping in. Now, these cross jumps will come into play here, ladies and gentlemen. So they're going to have to watch their backs. They're going to see who's going to scrub, uh, scrub um, lower. And, oh, he's going for a transfer, a little hit. Oh, hits his back wheel. KTM does go down. Cole staying in a transfer position myth down he's down he's stuck with a he's stuck he's stuck with a yamaha off the triple off the super cross triple from the start he is no longer in a spot and goes down ladies and gentlemen kurt still out there puma still out there one second off from joe J. could have a battle to see who's gonna actually take an lcq win cole being able to come into a transfer position with kurt joris trying to find the lines right behind cole i believe is he gonna do a cross Ooh, he's gonna do the pass block. Kind of sets Cole up for a bad run through the whoops. George says no hard feelings, bro, but we gotta keep moving on, ladies and gentlemen. We're trying to make it to the main, baby. Looks like Puma takes over. Looks like George, Joe J. What happened to Joe J? Looks like Joe J does go down. It's a huge factor for Joe J. Or did one of his laps not count? Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have to stay tuned to see if one of his laps did not count. Puma takes over. Puma does take over the lead with a four-second lead. Kurt right behind, following with George. George is right there. Looks like we're going to have a battle right there. Cole, still in a transfer position. Ford, actually, Ford was actually able to take it from Cole, but Ford is now playing the catch-up game in that transfer position, followed by Myth trying to make some time up. 16 seconds left. Almost 15 seconds left on the time clock as well. Ladies and gentlemen, before we have that plus two, or is it plus one? I do not know. I am an L commentator. George still battling. Ooh, close. They're getting real close. See who's in that transfer position. Cole and Ford still battling for the fifth, fourth. Guys, only four make it. Puma's out there with a four-second lead. Kurt's trying to hawk him down. Ooh! Cole, Ford match up on each other. Looks like he's getting the slide cheese. Cole's going to go ahead and take that from... No, Cole's going to actually fall behind to a fifth shot. Ford's going to actually take that into the transfer position. Two laps left as Puma goes almost over... The finish line, ladies and gentlemen, last lap cheese is now in effect for Joris. Is Joris going to be getting last lap cheese? Puma, anything can happen, ladies and gentlemen. This is the LCQ. Joris, Kurt, 
Kurt's already out there actually battling, battling with Puma. Wait a second, like I said, this last lap chase, they're both off. Guess who's gonna take the lead? Joris is going for it. They can't get off the triple. Ford, willing to still battle here for that transposition. Myth actually able to catch up front tucks when he should have taken the inside. Ladies and gentlemen, is getting detrimental cold. 17 seconds behind. Ford is in a transfer position battling with Kurt. Kurt was in second trying to get it. Puma actually is still able to, wow, he's eight seconds off, eight seconds ahead. Was able to get on the burners and actually still be in the lead. Joris, eight seconds behind. We're gonna have to go back to Ford. Ford shot is still in that transfer position right now for fourth does case the supercross triple that gives myth a fighting chance to go right by him say see you later brother man i've gotta do what i gotta do he's gonna take that from fourth shot kurt already through the sand this is gonna be a battle right now for who's gonna make the lcq who's gonna make the main cold trying myth gone who is actually in front that's fourth shot ladies and gentlemen looks like fourth shot does have some cuts to be reckoned with cold does have a myth gonna be our last one take it over over. Oh, cuts does not take him over. Ladies and gentlemen, we got P Puma, George, Kurt, Myth, GG. Looks like Cole Ford shot was battling for a very long time. Myth came back from the grave down under. Ladies and gentlemen, you have it right here. Three KTMs and one Husqvarna is able to make it to the main. Myth does have some speed on him. Way to get that last transfer spot. Guys, thank you guys for watching another IBS Kelso LCQ commentary. Hope you guys do enjoy. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Cole, Ford, Galaxy, Shadow, Pro Rider, Puckin, Leonard, Parker, Andy, Boy Mom, Ricky, Tommy G, Turbo, Armstrong, Bill, Sober, Joe J. You, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for playing and hope to see you in San Diego. Pop, 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 pop. Peace. Bye.